Hey everyone, TJ here with Charlotte Backyard Ponds. Now we are back for phase dose. All of the mulch beds that we created, beautiful. That video looked pretty sweet, didn't it? I know it did. Don't sweat it, I'll show you how you can do it just on your phone. What's up contractors? I'm here in my uh, work, wannabe contractor work studio today. And I pulled a couch in to show you just how easy this is and you can edit from anywhere on your phone using an app called CapCut. I have searched high and wide for an app that is free, easy to use, non-buggy, works for iPhone, Samsung, on your phone, on your laptop, and you can also record in the app, post directly to social media from the app. Hands down the best, and big shout out to Ethan Hammond. Uh, he really highly recommended CapCut, and I have to say is the best app I've ever seen for these purposes. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make that video you saw at the beginning, as well as this big list of things. Each of those are set with a time code. If you have limited time and you just wanna jump around, feel free to do that. But, what I would highly recommend is I have a Google Drive link where you can find all of this footage and you can actually edit along with me. So that would be my personal recommendation. However, it's your video, do whatever you choose. So you can find CapCut on the App Store. You're gonna look it up, CapCut, C-A-P-C-U-T. Icon looks like this. Now the reason I'm on my phone today is because to me, this is a simpler workflow rather than, okay, I have it on my phone. Now somehow I'm supposed to get it to my laptop to then edit, and now I need a separate time. This is one less step and you can do it really fast. So, when you open the app, it's gonna look like this. A few of the options right here. If you want to record directly from the app, what I like is you get the option to do it in multi-clips or in one shot. The thing I like about multi-clips is it's probably gonna save you time on editing. What I would personally do if I was a contractor is I would shoot video with the multi-clips, set it over to 60 seconds, and I'll be walking around the project um, well, I'll just show you. Okay, so if this was a project that I had just completed, which it kind of is, um, but I'm a simple man, I'm not a contractor. Here's what I would do. First, start off talking directly to my phone. I'll say something along the lines of, hey guys, I'm at 312 Cedar Wood Lane today and we just finished up our shed renovation project. Let me go ahead and show you a quick look. Then I stop that clip. Now I can, what I can do is flip my camera and from here, I can go in and point out my key features. I'm also gonna tell a story while I'm doing this. I'm giving you an all around tutorial today. I didn't know I was gonna do this. So, the kind of the keys to telling a story in this video is you wanna do three things. You wanna introduce the project. That's what I just did. Say, hey, here's where we're at. Here's what we're doing. Next, what was the problem the client was dealing with? So in this case, I'm gonna say, as you can see right here, we went through and hung up all of his tools on the wall and did it both in an aesthetically pleasing way as well as organizationally. One of the problems Aaron was dealing with, with was that he could not work in here. Uh, there was just stuff absolutely everywhere and he couldn't get any projects done around his house. His wife uh, was annoyed at the speed he was doing things because he had no organization. So we fixed that for him. So I've told the problem. Now I'm gonna show off a few key features and then talk about how he's living his life now. So you can kind of see on, along this wall, we hung up all of his stuff along the wall, save him in space. He doesn't have a ton of space in here for the amount of things he wanted to do. So what we did was we went in and put everything on the wall. Um, and one of the things is he wanted to have a cool feeling to it. So we added this blue wall over here and you can see that. And now I'm noticing I have eight seconds left. I need to wrap this video. Basically, I'm gonna wrap this blue wall bit and say now Aaron is Aaron's super happy with the project. He told us he's already actually fixed a few more things around the house. So that's a job well done. So this makes the whole room feel kind of cool. And so Aaron's loving this space and he's telling us that he's getting more projects done around the house. So that's awesome. Hey guys, I'm at 312 Cedar Wood Lane today and we just finished up our shed renovation project. Let me go ahead and show you a quick look. As you can see right here, we went through and hung up all of his tools on the wall and did it both in an aesthetically pleasing way as well as organizationally. One of the problems Aaron was dealing with, with was that he could not work in here. Uh, there was just stuff absolutely everywhere and he couldn't get any projects done around his house. His wife uh, was annoyed at the speed he was doing things because he had no organization. So we fixed that for him. So you can kind of see on, along this wall, we hung up all of his stuff along the wall, save him in space. He doesn't have a ton of space in here for the amount of things he wanted to do. So what we did was 
we went in and put everything on the wall. Um, and one of the things is you wanted to have a cool feeling to it. So we added this blue wall over here and you can see that. So this makes the whole room feel kind of cool. And so Aaron's loving this space and he's telling us that he's getting more projects done around the house. So that's awesome. Hey guys, I'm at three. Okay. So we have that video there. And from here, I could literally take this, save it to my phone. If I wanted to add captions, you can go ahead, add, start creating auto captions, auto captions created. So you can do all of that. You can add music to it in here, but you don't even have to edit it. I think I'll hit save. It's going to export for me. And what I like about this is you can just film it all at once. There's no editing that needs to be done and you can post it directly to social media. If I was a contractor, this is the kind of content I would create because I can do it right on the spot and in, in the same app I can record the content, edit the content, and now I have the option to share to TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, or other apps that I could program in. I can also send them to people as well. So that's my personal recommendation. That's what I would be doing on the app as far as creating content. If you have footage that you have already shot and you want to do some more extensive editing on this stuff, that's what we'll dive into now and I'll show you how to create a video like the one I showed you in the beginning. So the first step is let's make a new project. Click that guy. So a couple quick things to note when you are selecting your footage for this. Deciding whether you want it to be vertical or a landscape video. Um, the thinking behind that is if you're posting it to social media and you want it to be a little bit shorter content, typically underneath 60 seconds, I would do vertical. If you want it to be long form content, stuff like for your website, for your YouTube channel, I would film that um, the, the opposite of vertical, horizontal. When in doubt, I tend to shoot horizontal, but these clips I shot with TJ, I shot one in vertical and one horizontal. The first clip that you put in that's going to set your project ratio, whether your finished video is going to be vertical or horizontal. Let's go ahead and make this one for TJ a, let's make this one a vertical video. So this video right here is vertical. So I'm gonna put this clip in here. Immediately we have about a one minute clip with TJ. So before we get started, let me get introduce you to this system here. Here, where I'm scrolling through right this, this is called our timeline. So this is where all of our edits are going to show up. This top screen that we just talked about is the preview window. This is a preview of what our finished product is going to look like. Then we have our main menu down here. This menu is going to change as we edit things. And so at any point during the tutorial, if you see options down here on my screen that are different than yours, check to see if I have anything selected. Because if I select on this clip right here, you'll see that white box and now this menu has changed. And I'll talk about this more in depth later on, but just something to keep in mind. There's also an undo and redo button as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with our first edits. And the first thing I'm gonna do is listen to it. I know there's a little pause at the beginning, so we wanna do this. Hey everyone, TJ. So I'm gonna to go to right here before I see his mouth move. Select. And this is super easy. This is probably the thing you're gonna be doing most in video editing is splitting a clip. So you click on the clip, and then in this bottom left here, you click on split. And after I do that, I can go ahead and then click on delete. And now we have, I hit play. Hey everyone, TJ here with Charlotte Backyard Ponds with a quick update on what we're doing at our big project here. So as you guys have seen, we have done phase one, which is this beautiful patio, as well as stream going across the yard. And now we are back. Okay, so I like that part of what he's saying right there. So I'm gonna go in and I have another shot of the stream actually. So what you can do is there's this button down here, overlay, click on that. Then you're gonna click add overlay. Typically, this is what I would refer to as B-roll. This is footage that shows what you are talking about. Right here, 12 seconds. That's the one I want. I can also go ahead and trim it from here, which is kind of nice. I know I don't want it to be all 11 seconds, so I'm gonna do probably... Yeah, probably right there. Six seconds. So I've trimmed it. And now I can click add. It imports the file format and now you can see it down here. If 
So let's figure out. As you guys have seen, we have done phase one, which is this beautiful patio as well as stream. Okay, so when he says stream, that's why I want this to come up. So if I long press on it, then it shows up in this faded thing like this. And I can move it to the side. Hard, and now we are back for phase. Whoops, I went too far. Patio as well as stream. Okay, so I went right there, long press, and move it over and kind of clicked into place. That's what you're looking for. Now, a couple of things on these clips. One, you can see it's very small and it's kind of noisy. So, if I want the noise of the stream, I could come down here, something like this, 10%. Going across the yard, and now we are back. I think you can kind of get an idea, but it's not overwhelming. Typically, I would just take it all the way down, but the stream kind of sounds nice, so I'm going to leave it in. Now, the next thing I want to do is, so it doesn't look awkward and tiny, I'm going to take this and do a, the classic two-finger drag, grab the corners, and pull it up. And you can see it lock in to show that it's at the right height. And then I'm going to select, I think this part of the clip looks good. So now we can come in and look. Well, as stream going across the yard, and now we are back for phase dose. And that is putting in all of these amazing 57 plants through all of the mulch beds that we created, as well as out in the yard to bring balance throughout the entire thing and create um, nice coverage on the fence, as well as this beautiful wetland area from our overflow. And we... Okay, so in that section there, TJ was talking about plants. And I also heard an um that I kind of want to take out. It's kind of a nitpicky thing, but I think a lot of times that stops people from doing video because they're like, they, they worry about the filler words and every time they say um, they feel like they need to stop. TJ is very good about just keep going. And so that makes it better. And I'll show you how to take out the ums. You don't need to do it every time. People aren't expecting you to be perfect. In the video I shot over there, I had a few moments that if I was going to want it to be perfect, I would redo, say a few different things. It's okay, just you wanna get it out there and get it done. So, we'll take care of that um, because I'll show you how, but use it sparingly. He talked about the plants, and I have three clips of plants I wanna go in. So, we're gonna come here again. Now, one thing to notice is, you see this white box around the clip? That means I'm selected on it. So, my menu down here, split, speed, animation, style, delete, volume, extract, audio, cut out, all of that, is showing me the options for that clip. If I want to get back to overlay, I can have two options. I can click on the black here, like that, or I can hit the back arrow, and now this is my main menu. So our overlay is now in red. We click on this again. We see those options there. And I believe if we click on this little circle here, now we get to see that overlay we, were, we saw before. Okay. So now let's figure out where we want that first clip to go. Using 57 plants through all of the mulch beds. Okay, 57 plants. All of the plants through all of. Okay, so right about here. Now I'm going to hit that little back arrow. Add overlay. Something to note here is I want three clips. I can only do them one at a time. So I'm going to click on this mulch clip. I'd actually like to trim this as well. He kind of messes around with the bag. We're going to trim that to right here, the beginning of the action of him putting it in, and then end it with him throwing it in. It's a pretty short clip, 1.4 seconds. Trim that, add it. Once again, I'm going to take that volume, and on this one, I'm going to lower all it all the way down. Now I'll take this. Through all of the mulch beds that... Honestly, I added this video before in horizontal, but I'm not liking the looks of this clip in vertical. It's too zoomed in, so I'm going to get rid of it, which is all right. So we're going to add the overlay of the next clip I want. TJ putting in this tree here, 12 seconds long. This one's much better for vertical. I'll scoot him over. And plants through all of the mulch beds. Now, 
I'm gonna take this volume all the way down. Through all of the mulch beds that we created, as well as out in the yard to bring balance throughout the entire thing and create um, nice coverage on the fence. Okay, that, this clip is kind of boring though. This, I mean, it's a good clip, but it's a little bit long. So, one of the other things you can do is speed. You can do a curved edit. This is kind of where it starts off. I'll show you. Through all of the mulch beds that we created. Goes fast, as well then slow, then fast again. In the yard it's very cool that they have all of this stuff. I don't actually want a curve on this one though. So what I'm going to do is get out of here. Click on there on that clip. Speed, normal. And I probably want it to be about um, probably three times faster. And it's telling me right there it's going to be 3.8 seconds. This make it smoother option is if you were going to slow down a clip. And sometimes that makes it choppy because of the way frame rates work and playback. And so that will do an automatic smoothing for you. Um, I would recommend doing that if you're slowing down footage that's not meant to be slowed down. I would avoid slowing down footage that's not meant to be slowed down. But if you are going to do it, click on that make it smoother option. Pitch. That uh, controls whether or not your voice gets really high or not when you speed up clips or really low. Through all of the mulch beds that we created. As so we have that. And then he says, as well as. As well as out in the yard to bring balance. Sweet. Throughout so now we want to add in that clip of the plants by the fence. Again, take the volume out. The entire thing. Now one thing I could do here actually is turn this into two clips. So I did, I shot this in the cinematic mode on my camera. I shot all of these on my phone. So that way I could swap the focus. So it goes from in focus to out of focus. I can split this and move it over a little bit. So we're gonna cover up that um, so you don't see the jump cut there well as out in the yard to bring balance throughout the entire thing and create um, nice coverage on the fence as well as this beautiful wetland area from our open. Okay, so let's find that um, now. Um, that was easy. It, create, go back just a hair. If I want to zoom in, I can pinch in on the timeline. I'm gonna select here, split. Um, Found that um. Split again, so like this guy, delete it. It automatically closes the gap for me. Create nice coverage on the fence. Beautiful, now that um is gone. And create nice coverage on. And we have one more B-roll clip. As well as this beautiful wetland area from our overflow. And we actually had an amazing appointment this morning with Jason from Unique Outdoor Lighting. Beautiful, so now let's add in the Jason clip. Overlay, add overlay. Perfect. Appointment this morning with Jason from Unique Out. Audio down. Volume from zero. Resize. With Jason from Unique Outdoor Lighting, who came out and drew up a lighting schematic to bring accents to all of this amazing new trees and make this space enjoyable, daytime, nighttime, every time beautiful sweet that's the end of the video there so i'm going to click split and delete now one thing you'll notice is my option right here says add ending if you are adding along with me yours is going to show something different it's going to show a little cap cut logo if you click in the top now what you can do is you can just click on that cap cut and delete the ending but if you don't want that to show, ever show up again you can go up into settings and this add default ending. See, I have mine turned off. Yours just probably looks like this. And you can click discard ending, discard. X, okay, so now every time you create a project, it's not gonna add that on there anymore. So now our video is pretty much done. Um, and this, is, this could be ready to post. I wanna do a couple different things. I want to add a outro for him, link people over to his website. I want to add some music. I want to show you how to do transitions. So let's do those last. 
So I want to add an additional clip here. So I can click the add and I have the option to do all of my videos, all my photos. The other thing I can do is stock videos. So this is kind of nice um, that you have the option to do this and it's all for free. So you can go through, see which one of these you like. What I want to do for this video is add them in a nice white screen. So we're going to click that, add. And then this little line that you've been seeing pop up in between the clips. This right here, if we click that, these are all of our transitions. So you can go through and play with these as well. Again, simpler is typically better on this kind of thing. The camera moves are a little bit cool. I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the camera moves. But once again, I'm going for a clean feel for this video. So I like this regular blurred high. I'm going to click that, and now you can see I have a transition here. Make this, select that clip. Once again, I'm going to make it nice and big. And now I need to add some text over this. So I'm going to add, click on text. So we could do a couple things. We could do, uh, they have templates here, text templates. And these are kind of cool to walk through. Uh, again, simpler is better. Use these at your own risk. I'm going to go ahead and click check to get out of this and add my own text. So I'll insert his URL here, click that, select, I'm going to highlight it, style, change the color to black. Now we're going to squeeze this and make it much smaller. Click on the text, put it where I want it, like it, you feel it click in the centered position, put it down here at the bottom. And now I'm going to add his logo. And I believe I'll add it in as an overlay. So I'm going to hit back on this. Overlay, add overlay, photos, Charlotte Ponds. And that's kind of annoying that the background is black. Okay, well what we can do then is change this background. Yeah, we have a few options. So. I'm going to take this, move it over so it doesn't delete when I delete this. Same thing, go back, click on text, move this over. I'm just trying to attach them to this other clip so when I delete this ending, it doesn't delete those. Okay, add stock videos. Let's do the black one then. Put my transition back. Beautiful. To make this longer, you just click on this and then you can drag that right side right there. So I want it to be about five seconds. I'm nighttime, every time, beautiful. So we want our overlay to come over here. And text, also slide that over here. Every time, beautiful. Style, make it white. Go back, back, click on the overlay. Bring it down towards the center. time beautiful sweet so now we have all of that next we can do auto captions to it catch from what we found captions tend to help the performance of social media videos I mean it makes sense to me People are in a public area, they're watching your video, they don't really want noise, but they do kind of see, want to see what's going on. So the ability to just add this is amazing. Add those, and then the last thing we want to add is some music. So we'll click on audio down here in the bottom left, sounds, and now we have a bunch of options here for different sounds that we can add. For TJ's, um, I'm feeling this video probably fresh. Let's try fresh. And here's the, the sounds I tried out earlier. So 
So let's add him in. Now the problem we're immediately going to find is... Hey everyone, TJ here with Charlie Backyard Pond. Very loud. This is a very, 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 very common mistake that people make is they put in music, they make it way too loud, and then you can't hear the audio of the actual video. Put the emphasis on the audio of the video, and if you're going to like fault one way or the other, make your music too quiet rather than too loud. So we'll come in here, click on volume, and I'm going to put that down to probably 10 out of 100. And let's see what that sounds like. I might even go lower. Hey, everybody. Hey everyone, TJ here with Charlotte Backyard Ponds with a quick update on what we're doing at our... That's pretty good audio-wise. So now we have our music going. Let's see, it doesn't quite make it to the end. Unique outdoor lighting who came out and drew up... Okay, so now this video is ready to go out. We can go ahead and a few different options here. Right now you'll see 1080p. Here we can set our resolution for the video and frame rate. 30 frame rate, that is classic standard, smart HDR. A lot of the new phones are recording in, uh, it's basically they record brighter videos and darker at the same time. It's a wider range. And so this video I recorded in HDR, so I'm gonna leave that on. 1080p is the standard. You can also go up to 4K. If I'm doing a social media video, I'm not going up to 4K because it, there's not much. You can see right here, it makes the video much larger, about doubles it, and there's not a whole lot of added benefit. So I like these settings here. Then I can go to export. Okay, and then I'm ready to share. So it automatically saves it to my camera roll. If I wanna post to Facebook, Instagram, now I just go ahead and click on these, log in, do all of that, post it, it is done. So, two very different ways of doing it. That, I, if, if, I'm, if I'm taking the time to edit like that, generally I'm gonna make a longer form video for my website, um, answering FAQs, that kind of thing. So, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, or Google it, don't be afraid to Google it, that is how I learned to do all of my editing stuff. Um, I hope you guys uh, found this video helpful, and can make some great content because of it. I'm gonna go now. So if you liked it, leave a like.